Prayer is a privilege and a great way of maintaining our relationship with the Lord. Prayer is also a divine responsibility given to us by God. Through prayer, we can cause a change in any area we desire as we stir ourselves to take a hold of God. In this excerpt, learn as the man of God, Pastor Chris, teaches on getting results through prayer. God bless you. Isaiah chapter 64. Let's look at verse 7. And there is none that calleth upon thy name, that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. Did you see that? It was at a time in Israel, and people weren't doing what was right. And the great prophet here says, And there is none that calleth upon thy name, that stirreth up himself to take hold of thee. Which means there was an expectation. That people should stir up themselves to take hold of God. Stir up themselves to take hold of God. Which means you have a responsibility to stir yourself in the things of God. Stir up yourself. It's about desire. What do you really want? We are told that that woman that had the issue of blood, who was suffering from hemorrhage for 12 years, she had suffered all for so long the Bible says she has spent all her living on doctors and never grew better she rather grew worse then the Bible says when she heard of Jesus she said to herself if I may but touch the hem of his garment I shall be whole did she stay where she was no she acted her faith she went because her desire to be healed was very strong if your desire for a change is strong, you will see it. But when your desire for a change is not strong, you will not do anything about it. The question is, how strong is your desire? How strong is it? How strong is your desire to see real birth? How strong is your desire to see real growth? How strong is it? He says, when the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. But you haven't saturated your clouds yet. How do you saturate the clouds? With your tears. With your praying. When it's time to pray, you wake up. You're feeling sleepy. But there's a job that needs to be done. There's a challenge. You see, the, the, the ministry must move in this direction. Something's got to happen. And so even though you are tired, you have woken up ah, because of your need, because of the desire. You get up. It's raining. It's cold. But you're going to pray. There is nothing impossible for us as Christians, and through prayer we can affect changes in the realm of the Spirit. To watch or listen to messages from Pastor Chris on prayer, kindly explore the Pastor Chris Digital Library for the following titles. Prevailing Prayer Connected to Divinity The Importance of Prayer If you do not have the Pastor Chris Digital Library app, kindly download from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. God bless you.